How do you measure an individual life? It's almost impossible. Each of us, of course, does it in our own way, and with Jerry, that's fairly easy. I knew Jerry when he first moved up here, which I guess was in about seventh or eighth grade, and we were friends at the time and, and sort of grew apart during high school because he ran with a different crowd than I did. But at our 30th high school reunion, we reconnected and the friendship renewed itself and we were friends ever since then. I've known Jerry since, uh, since I was 16 and uh, we, uh, we learned how to do all, everything that 16 year olds learn how to do, everything from learn how to party to how to socialize, how to drive fast. We were fortunate enough to uh, move to Estes Park in uh, July of 2008 while our home was being built. And uh, during that time, we had an apartment uh, downtown, close to Town Hall. And uh, for lack of entertainment, I started going to uh, all the town board meetings. Jerry had just been elected to the town board in April I think Jerry was kind of surprised here was a familiar face coming in for all these meetings. From that, Jerry became very cordial to me. We'd say pleasantries before or after the meetings or during a break, and uh, it was fun to get to know him. I think he was surprised he was elected, but uh, I, it really tripped a switch in Jerry, and uh, he really got into the uh, to the town service and, and the board experience and that whole thing and was really very good at it. He uh, really blossomed in that kind of thing. Jerry had a vision for the town and the vision was to take it to greater places than when he found it. Everything that Jerry tried to do was to make this community a healthier community, a more prosperous community, and yet still keep what we all love about Estes. Boy, did Jerry Miller serve this community. Um, let us count the ways. Uh, trustee, a thankless job. You make a decision and somebody will tell you you're wrong. Jerry and I were probably uh, more kindred spirits, although there were certainly times that we didn't see it the same way as the other did. And we both respected that in each other. and. Uh, we went away from the town meetings uh, still being able to shake hands and give each other a hug after the fact, even though we may have disagreed with one another. The one thing I did was try to limit the town talk because that got old to me after a while. So I even put together a tip jar that said, at the point where you cross over in the amount of time that you spend talking about the time, you start paying into the jar. There's probably $25, $30 in there now. Jerry was also on the Transportation Visioning Committee. Uh, the Historic Preservation Committee, uh, the Traffic Visioning Committee, and the museum, of course. Uh, when anything important uh, was on the agenda, Jerry Miller's voice was, was heard. And he worked very hard at it, very hard. He uh, served in more committees and doing more things than I would ever want to do. We talked about that many times, and my comment to him was always, better you than me, Jerry. And he was always uh, engaged in what he thought was uh, trying to do the best thing for the right reasons for the town of Estes Park and I admired and respected that in him as a colleague and then later of course as a friend. He loved, loved the service and loved the recognition and loved just being involved and in trying to make a difference. Jerry Miller moved this community a long way and I think that uh, those of us who are privileged enough to remain to live here now in many ways have to have to clinch the deal. We gotta, gotta fulfill uh, the kind of steps that Jerry Miller took uh, working together uh, to make this Estes Park a, a better place for all of us and for those who come after us as well. That's a marvelous legacy. I ended up actually working with Jerry as a commercial real estate broker on projects that he was involved with as an architect and uh, Jerry was a commercial architect who designed office buildings and manufacturing spaces all along the front range. Jerry was a tremendous architect. It was just after the reunion that he and Millie bought the cabin and then lived there for a couple of years renovating it um, on weekends because they were still in Long Bond and then decided they wanted to make it t into a permanent home and, and moved up here. He drew up the plans and I guess it took a little less than a year, but uh, did a nice job. I think it's uh, a really interesting idea to combine the old cabin with the new house and preserve the old and yet recognize the new. 
he loved that place, that's for sure. Jerry always liked to party. And uh, uh, I remember when the day that my parents decided to go to the Broadmoor Hotel for a Rotary convention and for some reason left two seniors in high school at the house alone. And at that time, Colorado was an 18 state. I was 18, Jerry was not 18. And we decided that we would uh, go to Boulder and buy every can of beer we could find that was different and decided to drink it that night. The thing I liked about Jerry more than anything was his sense of humor. He had a real wicked wit and it was real subtle sometimes. And you could, you could see his eye light up and he'd get this puckish look and then something would come that would be really interesting. But yeah, he was, uh, he was a funny guy, except he punned, which you know, that makes nobody perfect. It's true, he loved a good debate and, and Jerry could debate with the best of them. And one thing about Jerry Miller, he never suffered a fool gladly, including myself, I might add, on more than, more than one occasion. Well, we'd have each other over for dinner constantly and sit on each other's decks, which was the best thing in the, in the world because we both have pretty good decks. So we would do probably dinner at each other's house once or twice a week. And we socialized a lot, even in those later years. And eventually, my wife and I moved up to Estes after Jerry and Millie did. And uh, we continued that, that relationship. Jerry, what I'll remember best is at the end of some of our evenings, uh, when it came time to say goodbye, you grabbed me by the shoulders and said to me, I'm glad you're my friend. I'll miss that. I'll miss the, uh, the fist butts, uh, the high fives, I'll miss the, the smiles and the laughs. I'll miss the emails and the phone calls and the gatherings. Miss you, wish you were back. Not possible, but we've got a lot, a lot of fond memories and we'll live with us. I don't think I want to say goodbye to Jerry. Uh, I just said, I just want to say, I'll see you later, buddy. And uh, God bless you. We'll miss you.